guys, welcome to episode 4. We're back here playing the Cubs for the second time, I think. Yeah, second time. Uh, last place Cubs, so... Uh, need, need the series win with how the Brewers are playing. So, tied for first right now. Uh, another lefty, which, uh... Is good, because I don't, I don't think I played against too many lefties last year, and I think this is... Already the second, second or third time? I think it's the second. I think we've had two righties and now two lefties. Um, nothing really to get into except uh, it is possible this, uh, depending on the starts and the sims, we could be sending one, two, maybe three pitchers then. I don't know. I want to give, uh, I want to give the starters around 20 innings. Probably. And these guys haven't yet reached it. Uh, Setterland hasn't been good. Depending on how this goes, it is possible we move Perdomo to long relief. This 63 stamina. I'm not sure. Um, Birdie's kind of been not amazing. They, they're using them way too much in the Sims, though. The Clerk's just been awful. I don't know what I'm going to do with Leclerc. I think if Leclerc has one more bad kind of like, if he comes in and lets in a run in, I'm probably going to send him down because I don't care how good his stats are. He's just, he's been awful for like two months. If you count spring training. What did spring training? Oh, I guess I can't see. But we're almost at the end of the first month. What are we? We're uh, 18 games in. I don't know. I guess uh, if I send a couple other guys down, maybe we keep him for. Just see if he can get it back. But uh, a couple of these guys have just like nasty looking ERAs because they've only pitched a couple innings. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, lineup, lineup's fine, I think. Hmm. want to give these guys, like, close to 100 at-bats, probably. Yeah, Hayes has been... Thank God Chavis is doing, like, amazing, because Hayes isn't done anything. I don't know what I'm going to do with Hayes if he's... Because he's on... He's so good, and he's on such a cheap contract. <laughs> You know if I trade him, he's going to be, like, amazing. He's getting kind of old, though, so... I don't know. Still too early for that. Um, but yeah, I think that's... That's about it. I don't think I have anything else to really look at. Alright, let's get into this game, then. Home game, Martinez. Lefties. Oh, they're gonna ask me to take out Vaughn. Nice. He is. He's why he's in, like. They're gonna ask me to take out Vaughn. He's just so good against lefties. E. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Let's, uh. What's McBroom doing? Not good. Uh, let's just see what they asked to do here. Yeah. I mean, I could just ignore this. I actually have no clue, like, what this affects. Like, if they're prone to making more errors, or they get injured easier, or there's, like, a hidden stat kind of penalty. I could put Chavis in left field. <clears throat> hmm. Put Chavis in left field. And 
I mean, might as well have him bat fourth. Might ask me to sit Reynolds too. Oh, okay. Kind of sucks because Vaughn is just like built to destroy lefties, but it is the Cubs and they're bad, so. <laughs> All right. Uh, talk to you after the game. One of the best ballparks you'll find in the sport, PNC Park in Pittsburgh. This evening, we've got a matchup out of the NL Central Division between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Chicago find themselves on a five-game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Carlos Martinez will be on the mound for the Buckos. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. So now here is Nico Horner. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. First pitch on its way. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. First pick, 705. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Got him to go after that one, but he's in a quick hold, 0 and 2. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You can almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And, oh, that caught him flush as it ricochets toward first. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, this is certainly something you never want to see. Perhaps the silver lining here, if there is one, is that that got him in the non-throwing arm. So if he had to work his way through this, he probably could. Assuming, of course, that there's nothing broken in there. And I think he is indeed planning to give it another go. To the plate now, number 34, as he'll take a look at ball one. Dero, Dan, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come off another loss last time out, and in fact, they've dropped three of their last four. Yeah, Maddie, I know they've lost one. That's an impressive pitch right there. If you're willing to throw a changeup on 2 0, that tells me that's a pitch you feel really confident with. Now the 2-1. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Reynolds is under it to make the play on the first down. That hurt. With that, a look at the Cubbies starting lineup. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, D-Row? Well, Maddie, this lineup's gonna have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. Swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Ah. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound.
And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native ball Ian Happ. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Two two here it is. Runners off for second. Pitch is high. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Well, when a stolen base is that close, it's interesting to check it out on show track. And as the numbers come in, you'll want to focus on the top speed. Really good, and it paid off there. The payoff pitch. Pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. Number 33 gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point, and it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Oh, that's awesome. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five-game slide. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played, but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches, these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should write itself. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The that cutter the darting in on the hitters the in the opposite base. batter's box. Right. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. Eduardo Escobar standing in. As the first pitch ball to him one, is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. Oh. The average at 284 to begin play. Five homers, nine driven in. That's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hang on. And now, in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Now, the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. So now it's Brian Reynolds. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. That average way, way up there to start things out. Seven homers and 14 driven in. The 1 0 home. Heading out towards shallow right. Half is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. 1 2 3 go the Pirates. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Now to bat, Harold Ramirez. Leading off the cup, the left fielder, Harold Ramirez. First pitch on its way. Hey. 
Hey this offense better be prepared to pull a trigger. This starter is known to be aggressive and come right after you. But it dips below the knees it's two and two. Swing and a foul tip but that's held on to behind the plate. It's a strikeout for route number one. I'll tell you it's hard to get more of a confidence boost than striking out the best hitters in the lineup back to back to back. He's looking really sharp right now. In now Justin Turner. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Dirt and it's back to even at two and two. And the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. At the plate now Nelson Velasquez as the first pitch here should be high it's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Out the side. He set down five in a row via the punch out, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So here's Michael Chavis now. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Now here's the first offering. Money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there he might have been sitting on an off speed pitch but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play. Standing in now Kurt Dowling as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. Now this rolls all the way to the wall and he is in at second base with a one out double. As we take a look at the replay here you can see that it was an angle change up. Nice job of staying back on it and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know if that pitch would have supplied more velocity it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. At the plate, Ryan McBroom, as he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 1. Hey, back to back, same pitch, same spot. Don't be shocked if he goes right back out there. If I'm a hitter, that's where I'm sitting. Everyone would think he wants to go somewhere else. He might go right exactly to the same spot. This is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two didn't mess around much in that at bat then. No that was pretty impressive Matt. I really like the pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball right there. He decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab the bench. Key Brian Hayes digging in now. Line hard to center field. Corner makes the play and the inning comes to a close. One left for Pittsburgh. 
We'll move to the third with no score. Ready now is Connor Wong. The catcher. Connor Wong. First offering. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. 1. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Escobar has a play and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting now, the pitcher, number 33. Next up is number 33. He'll take his first hacks here. Here's the pitch. Fouled away. Third inning, no score to this point. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And they'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. The center fielder, number two, Nico Horner. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Nico Horner. First pitch on the way. Ball in. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. is Kevin Newman. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. In there. Strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Hey, right here, anytime the leadoff hitter gets on in front of the pitcher, it puts the defense on notice. You're going to see the third baseman creeping in. You're going to see the first baseman crashing, trying to get that out at second base. But if not, make sure of one. Into the box, Carlos Martinez. This will show bunt, but pull it back for ball one. Newman on at first, nobody out. Now a throw over, oh, and he safe. just manages to get his hand in. The 1-0 is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. You can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. The right fielder, number three, Dillon Now to the play, Dylan Carlson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Here's the nothing and nothing nope, pitch. That's the ball. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. 
and they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. So here's Eduardo Escobar as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Looking at his career total, two and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Half is there, two down. The center fielder, number 10, Ryan. So two down and a runner at first. And that'll bring up good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Popped up. Wong moving to his left. And that's the third out. It's a run on two hits, one left. They like to pretend. Now I'm switching up my energy. My enemies feel like I got hundreds of them. No, no, no love for me. Y'all ain't in the streets. So now to the plate, number 34. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The shortstop. Number 34. First pitch on its way. This one's outside. Quite a bit off. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now and this is not an easy play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. The batter will be Nick Madrigal. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Dan, are you even concerned about that? You've been pitching out of the wind-up all game, and now you have to go to the stretch. Yeah. It can be a concern sometimes, Debra, but you try to in between starts to make sure that you throw enough pitches out of the stretch, and he's been out of the wind-up most of the game, so we'll see how he reacts here after this base hit. So now to the plate, Ian Happ. As he'll ball look one. at a fastball too high for ball one. one Struck out in his first at-bat. Shot toward right center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. This will kick up against the wall now. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Plate now, Harold Ramirez hit in the air out to right. Right fielder is on the run, and the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up, and the run is in to score from third. Always productive to score runs when you can, and that sacrifice fly right there drives home the second run of the inning. 
So no one on now after the sack fly and set to go is the third baseman Justin Turner. Now here's the first offering. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. in there for a base hit. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys swings. It usually takes them a now month or so to get it ironed eight. out. Nelson. Full last day. Stepping in now. Nelson Velasquez. Eight. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes. But the bottom line. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Cubs lead it two to one. And welcome back to Pittsburgh as we check in on the field with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Derek Shelton during the commercial break about the Pirates offense. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Stepping in once again is Michael Chavis. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on the way. And he puts it on the ground to second. And a base hit, so he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Standing in now, Kurt Dowling. Line drive base hit. At the plate, Ryan McBroom. And he'll take ball. a look at ball one. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. One, two, time is called at home plate. From the stretch. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Keep Ryan Hayes as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. The 0 1 offering. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. In at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle this guy down.
Into the box now, Kevin Newman, nope. as he'll take okay. a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. One for one with a single so far. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And that Whoa. misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. That's a nice job to work that walk right there. Even if it no doesn't pitcher. lead to no anything pitcher. on the scoreboard this inning, Hold it on. prevents the pitcher from Mark having the lead off in the next one. Just one of those small things that might go unnoticed, but in the end, make a big difference. So next to hit is Carlos Martinez. He did his job and laid down a successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. No balls in one strike. The 0 1 offering. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two runs, six hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And he goes down and gets this one as it's lifted high into the air out to medium deep center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. One more look at the full extension catch that strands two men on the base pass. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Cut. Thanks. The catcher. Donner. First pitch on its way. Strikes, but it misses one and two. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. That was a good job tying him up inside okay. on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes. That's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. To the plate now, number 33. As with one away, he won't catch up with the fastball, and it's 0 and 1. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks now really back. sharp the out there, guys. Nico Horner. In now is Nico Horner. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Halfway home, tied to a piece. And 
and stepping in, Dylan Carlson. was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Now here's the pitch. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Now back to the second baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Digging in will be Eduardo Escobar. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down. And that appeared to be the case there. First offering. High in the air out to center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Pirates. Through five, all even at 2-2. Two, two. Now it'll be number 34. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Number 34. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit on the ground to third. He's right there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next, here is Nick Madrigal. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. First delivery to him. Try to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. And quickly, two are gone now here in the visitors' half of the sixth. The right fielder, number eight, Ian Happ. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ian Happ. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ballgame. The 1 1 home. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, what a play! Wow! Oh. Doing it all at first to end the inning with an exclamation mark. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Bottom of the sixth inning now and standing in the outfielder Michael Chavis. Pitch of the AB on its way. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. For strike two. This is on the ground over to first. Field it cleanly, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. Next to hit is Kurt Dowling, singled in his left zone. It's 2 0 oh now. On the ground to third. And there are two away now. 
the first baseman, number 12, Ryan McGrew. And now here is Ryan McGrew. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates. Six innings complete, all square at two and two. Striding in is Harold Ramirez. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. The next hub up, Justin Turner. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. That one down and away. There's no success in that. One out, nobody on. This pitch is popped up. McBroom has room in foul territory, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The first base is number five. Nelson Velasquez. Up next, Nelson Velasquez. And I think the question becomes, how much longer are they going to stick with this starter? Fatigue could very well become a factor at some point. Yeah, that's always a tough question to answer for a manager, especially when your guy still pitching well. You've got to kind of look for some signs. Is he starting to get hit more? Is he losing his command? Even if he's still throwing strikes, stuff like that. Yeah, good points to keep an eye on if he continues on much longer. Bounce towards the second baseman. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Cubs are down in order, and this game is still tied at two and two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Cody Hoyer is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. David Bodie will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and up next is Keep Ryan Hayes. Offering. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. One and two. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. So now to the plate, Kevin Newman. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. That was a big strike out there, guys. 
the best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to and that second out was really important at this point of the game could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Bobby Bradley will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Two outs already on the K this inning so he'll be looking to do better. And now it's 0-2. I'll tell you if I'm pitching right now I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. The score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two -two. Yusmera Petit has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 36, Yusmera Petit. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Connor Wong. Connor Wong. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Carlson is there to put it away for route number one. So with his day over now you get a look at the final pitching line for the Pittsburgh starter and he was really in command on the mound throughout the evening. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone and this guy certainly wasn't in this one didn't allow a walk all game long and he gets a piece of it here but it's chopped foul and he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after. Three, two, one more time. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first, two gone. The center field of the two. Nico Cole. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Nico Horner. He's working on a one. The 2 2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for the Cubs. Score remains 2 to 2. Its batting order turns over and set to go. Dylan Carlson. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Here's the first pitch. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. And that is off the wall in right field. And your go ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. The fans didn't even get a chance to settle in their seats for the beginning of the inning. And he just blistered that ball down the line on the first pitch he saw. It stayed fair and he's safely on second with the leadoff double. That's the way you lead off an inning. 
So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Eduardo Escobar. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind him because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, man, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. From the stretch, early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Next, it'll be Michael Chavis. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. First pitch of the AB now. Hit in the air to left. Ramirez is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now back. The catcher. Stepping up is Kurt Dowling. Two for three with a double on his line. So. Carlson on second. Reynolds at first. Two out in the inning. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Wong has it. And that ends the inning. Pirates strand a couple. And this game is still tied at 2-2. Two two. Now at the plate, here is number 34. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. First pitch on its way. Weak grounder down the line at third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the next to bat will be Nick Madrigal. He was retired after. Now here it comes. This is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. It's out of here and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. So a solo shot down the line in left as they've taken a one run lead. With one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. In now, Ian Happ. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Another payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. 
I know one thing, he earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Now into the box, Harold Ramirez. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Richard Rodriguez enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 48. Richard. Rodriguez. Set, here it comes. And seem to look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He just watches this baby a ball and a strike. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that, that's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The pitcher. Cody. Cody. Johnny DeCosta will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 47, Johnny DeCosta. First pitch coming, here it is. That's a ball. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Two balls and a strike. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Here's the 2 1 home. Swing and a liner. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Pirates. And Chicago's taking a 3-2 lead. Rowan Wick takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 50. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Ryan McBroom. Rafael Ortega will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number 67, Rafael Ortega. Now the pitch. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Two two one more time. Hot shot down the line. Reined in. And that's the first down. Now that was a no doubles defense in action right there. And it paid off big time. That ball was scorched, but the third baseman was guarding the line more than usual to prevent an extra base hit. And it ended up being pretty much right at him. That's good stuff. Cruz steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gone in the inning.
Here's the first pitch. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. On to first, and now the Pirates are down to their final out. Now batting. Good stop. Stepping in next, Kevin Newman struck out in his last trip to the plate. It comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And oh. a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Well, there's no doubt they've looked free in that the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that down. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Cubbies came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Cody Hoyer claims the win out of the pen his first. Rowan Witt hammers down the save his third of the campaign. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody. The final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Three runs, five hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Pirates, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 52 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home. All right, that was unfortunate. I got pretty, I got lucky and unlucky in that game. Uh, what do we have? We had, we had uh, Martinez. Get, was it Martinez? Yeah, Martinez. Martinez got robbed of a, of a double from that diving catch. I wonder if I could find that. I forget what inning it was on. Uh, Martinez second. Yeah, this play. This was a two. There was two guys on base there, I think. Yeah. Unreal. So I got unlucky with that play. Uh. What else? There's something else that we got unlucky on. Oh, the. Let me see if I can find it. Uh... So that triple. I accidentally was leaning on the left trigger and I quick pitched. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Quick pitched it. So the the only real hit and run I gave up was this one. The other one was a sacrifice, but. I accidentally quick pitched it. Threw it right down the middle, I think. So that was that was super unlucky. Uh, besides that, I don't know. I was okay. Started off pretty bad. I think I like struck out like quite a bit in the beginning. Um, seven hits. I don't know. Kind of okay, kind of bad. Martinez pitched real well with Martinez except for that quick pitch. Uh, Petit gave up the solo shot. I'm not really, not really mad about that. I just missed missed my spot. I think I was off the pinpoint a bit. Uh, yeah, that uh, that one reliever they have is it the Huber guy? Yeah, he pitched two innings. Disgusting. 
100 mile an hour sinker. I don't, I don't want to see that again. That was fucking gross. Can't win them all. And I was just, just a little bit off of that uh, Carlson double. That was almost the home run. Hopefully the, uh, uh, we lost three in a row. <laughs> Hopefully the, uh, the AI can pick me up here. The show. Here's your host. Another bunch of lefties. All right, so Perdomo has to perform in this third. If Perdomo doesn't perform in this third, he's getting sent down. 100%. Oh, did the Brewers lose? I think the Brewers lost. Oh. Um. Oh no, they won. Eh. Oh, we're retied. Okay. All right. Um. Let me throw a save in here just in case. Let me make sure my recording's still going too. Yeah, we're good. Um, let's just get into the sim. This is it, Perdomo better, better perform. Couple of tired guys here. Um, a lefty. Let's um, I mean Chavis is definitely gonna play. And then, we'll just see who they want me to replace here. So Reynolds, he wants replaced. Ooh. I mean, I could put Ortega in, but he doesn't hit lefties. I think I gotta play him, though. We'll just, uh... We'll hide them down there. We'll move everyone up here. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot Ortega is a natural center fielder. Okay, so there could be someone else here. Oh, no, okay. I'm fine with that then. Another lefty with a 7 ERA. I wish I had to hit their lefty a bit better, but uh, he had like a disgusting cutter. Oh, this is so loud. <laughs> Luis Perdomo is the man on the mound for the Pirates in this contest. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matt, this guy keeps his team in the ball game. He's won two of his last three starts, so he's been throwing the ball really well. And one of the keys mm. for this guy is getting early outs to keep his pitch count down. If he can do that, he should be able to get into the seventh. I think I think he's confused. Great inning in this one. Okay, great start. Yikes. Alright, Perdomo's getting sent down. If he had I gone five with four runs, I might have... Might have thought about it.
Oh no! Yeah, we're just running to Ace now. Send Perdomo down. Couldn't even get through five again. Four losses in a row. Ugh. Right, let's do this now. Um, I should probably look at who I want to bring up. All right. Uh, Maeda. I wonder if he just had a start. Guess it doesn't really matter. My hate is doing good. Oh, I should, uh, I noticed this when I was, uh, before I saved and shut the game down, I noticed someone has a plus one, so their stats are increasing. Uh, he might be the only one though, he's the only one I know that's why I went through. Super weird. Um, okay. What's the... Uh... Oh, I think this might be his... Uh... It's okay. Maeda. Maeda's doing really good, but. Keller. Hmm. Keller or Maeda? It's Keller's. Oh, he's got. Hmm, if he's been three of three, does that mean if I bring him up, I can't send him down? Is that passing? Uh, or is that from like this season? I like spring training. I should probably uh, save and find out. It'll probably give me like a warning or something. So I think I will bring him up. And what if I try to send him down? Okay, looks like it's from this here. <laughs> okay, and let's send Perdomo down. Those are just terrible numbers. I should uh, sort these. Uh... So Jose de Leon is next in line. So I should probably move everyone up like that. That should be right. And then Mitch Keller, put him in here. Is there anything else I want to do? Sailor hasn't been good. Birdie's been fine. Leclerc's been bad, but I'm going to let him stay. Sutherland's the only... The only one. I don't know. Let's get one more time. It's only have 10 innings. Um, 
Alright, let's advance. Uh, scouting. West. Let's just go by potential. <clears throat> potential West. He's not very impressive. Maybe I will scout something else. Definitely don't want to scare any more pitching. Unless they run at everything else. Okay, let's um. I don't think I can even do like infield, but different like stats. I don't think. No. Okay. Let's do. Let's do catching, I guess. Power and power and fielding. Sure. Okay, international. Let's do this. Oops. <laughs> All right, seventy-five. Shortstop. Ready next year, eh? Let's, um, I could put Keller in for this start, but, uh, let me see everyone's stamina. Yeah, everyone's good. Yeah, if someone needs, like, a little extra, then I'll give it to them and move them up, but there's no need right now. Okay, um, good, roster's good. Hopefully, if we get swept by the Cubs, this is this is a problem. Oh, so I played as Martinez, so my next start should be should be Keller, unless I move stuff around. Okay, let's go. Man, Escobar is uh, average is dropping. Could give him a day off. Maybe I'll do that. I'll give him a day off. Um, or you know what? If they ask me to, I will. But they're gonna ask me to replace Dowling probably. Me. Yeah, okay. Darno in. Let's do that. Carlson. Okay, put our tag in. Um. Let's 
do I put Ortega in the lead? I think I'm gonna put Ortega in the leadoff spot. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> we need to salvage this series. Is gonna steal, guaranteed. Oh, they're not. Four walks. Oh my god, man. This pitching, man, it's so horrendous, man. Look at them, they're running literally into the ground. I'm sure we got these that aren't tired in there. Unbelievable. I didn't even notice Stroman pitch the whole time. Swinging with a huge first inning that really set them up well. Marcus Stroman takes the win on the mound. His set. Ugh, brutal. Brutal, brutal pitching. Five losses in a row. Beginning of the work week and welcome to Inside the Show. Looking first at the NL Central, the Cubs brought out the rooms in a three-game sweep as they... Man, some of this... We might have to start looking at... I mean, I think I'm always going to keep... Well, maybe not always, but... Some of these guys are just... It's exactly like our pitching, like either they're hitting 400 or they're hitting nothing. Uh, it's down. 283. Hmm. Can we 
got we got some guys. Where's some? Yeah, Sammy. Don't really need an outfielder. Though. Unless he comes up, uh, I mean, we could swap him in Ortega. He's only 21, though. Oh, we got stat increases on this guy, too. I kind of don't want to bring him up. He's kind of too young. Sitsugo. I mean, do I really want to bring him up to play third? Maybe. Duvall's kind of... Where's Crawford? Oh man, these guys aren't doing very well. <clears throat> Henry Davis, but uh... I don't think we really need to replace Dowling right now. He could play first... He could play first against lefties for McBroom. Hmm, that could be possible. Is he on the 40 man? Oh, he's not even on the 40 man. Shitsugo isn't on the 40 man either. I don't think any of these guys are. Maybe Sammy? No? Maeda, Perdomo, Young. Bunch of pitching. Oh, did double A start? I don't think double A start yet. Oh, it did start. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're still a bit away. Good, I don't want to do the lineups right now. Ugh. What do we got? We got a lefty again? No, we got a righty. I just don't know. Oh, let's not make any... Well, I don't want to wait too long. We're already into the second month. Five games in a row is bad, though. Let's, uh... Let's just see what we got here. Ikov, right hander. It's probably gonna get me to. I'm gonna give Escobar a day off anyways, because he's not hitting at all. We'll put Chavis at second. Pretty sure Chavis can play second. Yeah. Uh, switch right, switch left, right, left, right. Is there anyone here? If we lose this one, I gee. man, their lineup's pretty disgusting. Even though they're a lot of them are cold. Marte, Segura, Harper, Castellanos. I think McMahon's supposed to be pretty good. Hoskins is these Real Muto. From the city of brotherly love, MLB The Show has baseball from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Game one here in the month of May between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the. Philadelphia Phillies. Pittsburgh find themselves on a five game skid. They'll try to get back on track next. Chris Bassett is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phillies. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do. If he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely. All right, we need a big game here. It needs to start. Hey,
Trainer Bonassi. Not the pitcher. God damn it. Oops. They might uh, pinch him, pinch hit for him here. Yeah, okay. Thought they might do that. Even though he's doing pretty good. Nice. Risky, Leclerc. Yikes. Extra innings. Huge. Huge. Man, Dowling walks so much. Hayes at two walks. Chavis didn't do anything. Neither did Carlson. Oh no, Carlson had three hits. Bradley's uh, average is going back down to normal. That's what I remember all last year was he just came up to the plate and struck it. Dowling with three walks? Yeah. Man, he walks so much, it's insane. If he had speed... I almost wonder if I should go into the, uh... Training... What is it called? Is it just called training? And just put all his training on... Speed steel and just... Oh, no! Well... I guess that, um... That uh, that makes my decision for me. Sixty day. Okay. Uh, who are we bringing up?
too bad at Bray is not doing well because I'd bring him up. Oh, Smelzer. God. He's only pitched two innings, though. Hmm. And who's on the 40 man? I don't think. Oh, it's. Does that, like. When someone's on the 60 day, do I just get, like, a 40 man spot? Uh, 25, 33. Yeah, I think I get a 40 man spot. Oh, but that means. That means I gotta, like, take them off the 40 man spot when, uh. Alright, let's, let's slip through here. Yeah, he's not doing good. Smelter's only pitched two innings though. No, I don't want it. I don't want Thompson. Ryu is on the 40 man though. Mm. I mean, I could bring him up and if he's bad. Oh, he's got. Oh. I never know when these. Like options have been used. Um, no, not him, not him. Show Jacques. He's pitched nine. He's doing fucking amazing. He's not on the forty man though. Ah, well, do I add him to the forty man, and then when Leclerc comes back? I mean, if he's bad, and then drop him. Let's, um, let me make a save. I think I'm going to bring Abreu up. If he's bad, send him back down and bring Jock up. I don't, there's no point adding him to the 40 man yet. Just in case something else happens. Um, okay, save. I just want to make sure this isn't like his three of three is not from last year. I don't really get how it works. I don't know. I don't know exactly how the options. Thing. I think it would tell me, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Abreu's up, um, which means we need to send one double A up to triple A. Sure. You're in. You're in. And then send one A ball reliever that we don't actually have. Oh, we might have one actually. Let's A ball. We have one. Oh, he's 19. Ugh. What's our roster looking like? 92. I think it's 93. It's okay. Put him in there. And then what do we got? Seven and two. Wait. Oh, it's still counting. Leclerc is on in the depth chart. Okay. Seven and one. Seven and one. Okay. Trying to bring you. Look how much it's using Birdie. It's unbelievable. I mean, he's doing better now though. Yeah, we're seeing some stat increases finally. Sederland. I feel bad for Sederland. They're just using him so much. Richard, Richard, Richard. Oh, yeah, you better give him some stat increases. I'm extending Richard if. If he's still decent, like, whenever I can do extensions. Long term, long term deal for Rodriguez, because she's just amazing. Okay, so let me see it again. <laughs> All right, uh, 
Uh, so that's our first, I think that's our first real injury. Uh, injury. That's a bad one too. Wonder if that's his uh, throwing arm wrist. Might have to think of uh, what's my budget at. And Hayes is so bad right now. So many bad players. No uh, stat increase for Chavis. Rounds has got a couple. Now we're starting to see some uh, some stat increases. Give something to Dowling. What's his, his like discipline or vision should be just maxed out with the amount of walks. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? Uh, it's a day. All right, we got Kim versus John Meats. Another lefty. The Brewers are rolling. Okay, let's get into this. Yeah, okay, we'll do Kim. Everyone is exhausted. Darnell will come in. Vaughn needs a day off. Chase play left field right yeah. She's in Reynolds. Didn't Reynolds just get a day off? Need Escobar to start hurting again. And I need a good game out of Kim here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these MLB the show has baseball terrible pitching performances. Tonight, the second of four between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball. Next. John Means will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps... Let's get into this. The team in the ball. Nice. All right, Newman. You know, it could have been worse. Nice. Single by Kim. There we go. This is what we needed. Oh man. Nice. 
if Darno keeps hitting uh, home runs like that, I I could I could send McBroom down, switch Darno to first base with uh, Bradley. Well, that if Bradley actually hits, but I could bring Henry Davis up. I don't know about having like two star a potential young catchers though. I mean, I guess you could fill in at first base too, but I don't know. Nice. We're gonna probably pull on there. No? Okay. No, they didn't. Darn no, the stolen base. Wow, they left him in and he singled again. This is actually a good spot to put a beret on. Alright. Oh, they're leaving them in. Three strikeouts. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. And tonight's comes to a conclusion, 6-1 to one the final. The Pittsburgh Pirates took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Kwang Young Kim takes the win on the mound, his second of the year, as he gives up only two hits in five innings of work. John yeah. Uriah was permitted six earned nine. runs to come across the in the losing six effort. Six so run. that's yeah, a wrap yeah. here tonight. No for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak. Good start for Kim. The only uh, good thing about those games we lost to the Cubs is that I don't think they're going to do anything in the division, so we didn't just give wins to the Reds or the Brewers. That's a uh, silver lining. Darno. Hi, I'm Justin Allegri, and this... Escobar had a couple hits. Ortega not get a hit. I think he walked a few times. Um, yeah, Darno can play first. Chavis had a home run there, right? Yeah, he's up to six. He's got to be leading the team, right? Oh no, Reynolds is seven. Bradley with two is a problem. And uh, Bray, you came in. He was good. I think he gave up one hit, one walk in two minutes. All right, next. Okay, so Martinez is still tired, so we're gonna move. We're gonna move everyone up a spot, right? Or I think that should be good, right? Yeah. Killer than Martinez to get his spot. Right? Which means the next time I pitch, I think I might be pitching with Martinez again, though. Whatever. He needs the rest. Or I guess I could, um... Yeah, I 
could move Montus up, maybe. Cause he's... Maybe I'll do that, just so I don't pitch with Martinez twice in a row. Alright, Killer. Righty. I mean... I think I still gotta play Chavis. <laughs> oh, he is tired though. Maybe we just give him a day off, I think. It might ask me to replace Carlson here. Yeah. Yeah, I think which means Ortega's coming in. Which means I will put... And if he was hitting better, I'd put him fucking lead off, but he's not. Maybe I'll swap him with Cruz, because Cruz is hitting better recently. Yeah, I think that's okay. Keller's first start of this year. I didn't play him at all last year, but I... Pretty sure we played him once in 2021. Well, not more than once, but he had a couple starts in 2021. It's been a while, so I forget. But live from Philadelphia, all set for baseball from the home of the Phillies, Citizens Bank Park. Tonight, it's Game Three of this four-game set between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Philadelphia Phillies. Baseball starts right now. Zach Eflin, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. We'll see if that starts in this one today. And And our pitchers are getting all the hits. Nice. Bond should probably still here. Nice. Huge. Man, Bradley's really, really struggling. Wait, are we in the... Oh, we're in the 8. Insurance run, please. Oh. Oh, no. 
I wonder who made that error. Common in baseball now these days. They use a ton of pitchers to get through a game, and it took six here to get the job done. But hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. Pittsburgh jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Blake Cedarman claims the win out of the pen, his first. David Bednar closes the door for the save, his ninth of the year. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Hmm. I don't know what we should do for Bradley. He's just not hitting at all. He's not even walking, and he used to walk like... He used to walk and steal quite a bit. And we're, we're barely getting through these games. Inside the show with Justin Allegri. Hello there, baseball fans. Let's recap what went down around the league on Wednesday. In the National League Central, the Pirates totaled 11 hits as they got the best of the Phillies in Citizens Bank Park 4-3. The Nats put together 10 total hits as they bested the Cubbies at Wrigley Field 4-1. The Indians got 11 hits overall as they ran over the Reds 9-2. Kyle Gibson earned the third W of his season as the Brewers got the best of Miami 6-3. It was their seventh straight victory. The St. Louis Cardinals went deep four times as they got a road win against Arizona 6-5. Randy Arozarena was a clutch performer at the dish with four RBIs as Atlanta got the win against the Blue Jays, 7-4. He is among the National League leaders in home runs. Phil. Okay. Um. Hmm. Wait, would this be the game I would play usually? Let's see. This would be, let's see what the, uh, I could move someone up. Hmm. That's the only thing about, uh, when you start fucking with the lineups, they might have to... Just have Martinez skip a start. Because this should be the game I should be playing. <clears throat> I might do that. I might move uh, Montes up. I thought I was about to sim this, but uh, I don't think so. Game, so yeah, I think I'll probably move Montes up. Then I'll just be playing Martinez the next game, but hmm. yeah, I, don't know. I guess if I play him twice, it's not the biggest deal, but uh. We'll be going for the uh, the sweep after getting swept. This one's a four game though, so. And the Brewers are just, man, they're losing. Well, they I guess they won two or three. Oh no, they won three or four. Thought they were about to uh, have another bad series against Miami again. Um, let's just see if I want to do any moves before we. Bonds, uh, didn't really notice he's been hitting way more, but... Someone's got to go down. There's just too many guys hitting under 200 right now.
40 at bats, 40 at bats. Thankfully, Cruz kind of picked up a bit. I'd... If we had Hayes, Cruz, Bradley, Escobar, kind of cold, but he's picking it up. Yeah. Chavis is staying. So we got Ortega, McBroom, Newman, Hayes. I think Bradley, I think Bradley I'm going to keep up. I usually like to give guys like a hundred at bats, but when there's just so many guys not hitting, I can't, I can't keep all these guys up here. Henry Davis is hitting 377. I mean, I could get him to come up and he could play first, he could platoon. But then we have three catchers, kind of. Sitsugo. Sanchez. Switch hitting. Low contact, though. This guy should not be... I guess he, he missed the year. He didn't play here. Left field, right field. I don't really want him in right field. And Siani's good, but he's so young. This is who one of these guys might be replacing Ortega, I guess. Um, and none of these guys are on the 40 man, which means someone has to get. Moves. I think I might have to DFA McBroom or Ortega. Swaggerty. I mean, we could bring up Swaggerty and just see if he, he's been like disappointing in ever. I haven't, br I don't think I brought him up once, but he's been bad in the minors, but maybe, maybe we bring him up and, uh, see how he does. He's like pretty solid and he's getting up there. Like, is he going to be in the minors at 24? I don't know. We could send, could send Ortega down. Birdies bounce back pretty good. And he's gonna have so many innings this year because they just won't stop throwing him in there. Um, Ray. Newman's been bad. <clears throat> hmm. Do I still? Oh, I still have the. I still have a forty-man spot open, right? Oh, that helps. I don't. Right, I didn't put anybody on. Because Abreu was already on. Uh, okay, so. Now who do I add though? I can add Davis. He can play first and he can catch. 75 overall. Man, Crawford's struggling, eh? Jeez. And Duval's not doing very good. I 
I might have to bring Davis up. What's our catcher situation looking like? Yeah, we got enough. Barely. <sighs> bring Davis up and have him play. Play first. I think that might be the, the play. That might be the play. I'd like to give him just like, I really don't want to bring him up, but I think I got it. I think I got it. And we will send down. I hope we send him down. I don't want to send Bradley down. We have to send Ortega down. Or make. Yeah, maybe we send McBroom down. Because I'm never going to use him in the outfield. And he's basically having his spot taken by Henry. And... Uh, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's what we'll do. We'll send McBroom down. Don't really need to sort out the lineups right now, but uh, play first. I'll play first against lefties. And then I guess when uh, some games were Dowling's tired, we can put, he's got better feeling. Davis is their villain. We can put Davis in at catcher and then put Darno at first. Against lefties. Yeah, I don't want to send Bradley down just yet. Yeah, I think. Let's see. So we need. We need another catcher. We need a catcher triple A. in there. I don't think I need a platoon on with Richie. And then McBroom's at first. Well, you can play the outfield too. I don't care if he plays it at uh... But we can't play center though. Hmm. Maybe we put Duval down to double A. Since it's about to start. Yeah, four more days. Whoops. Mm. 
but then I need to move to the go then. Uh, maybe we have McBroom just sit on the bench. Hmm. How old are these guys? I don't really want to put these guys down when they're doing amazing. Like if they were batting 250 or 240 or under, I'd, I don't want to take them. In. I don't want to send them down when they're hitting so well. Alright, well, I'll figure it out. Let's give them a couple weeks at their... Let's put, um... Put McGroom down to double A. This will make Andy because he's younger. Oops. And then Mason Marnes at first base, but we'll put McBroom in there. Actually, we could. I was gonna say we could. Uh, let's put um. Oh, he's got more power against lefties, eh? I guess we can, um... Platoon them. Alright, I think that's, um... I think that's all I need to do. I only have to worry about the 40 man when uh, Clark comes off and then someone will need to be removed. I think that's what will have to happen. There we go. Dowling has some some plus stats finally. Um, yeah, we'll worry about the lineups next time. This episode's probably getting way too long. But yeah, I think um yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna pitch again with Martinez or move Matis up. Maybe I look at the, um... I think I probably will pitch with Martinez again. I feel like I'm more likely to pitch better than the AI, AI will, but... I don't know, I just lost the game with him, so... Maybe not. I don't know. We'll figure it out next time. Let me just get saving. All right, that'll uh, that'll be episode four. Uh, some interesting stuff. Yeah, at least look at the play. Uh, I'll play with Davis's. Uh, well, I don't. He might not be in the lineup, but I'll probably try to fit him in there. I want to play his uh, debut game, which uh, might be, I don't know, might be good for him or might be bad for him. Without I hit. Alright, see you next time.